Hey, what's up? Ken from Palm Beach Dino here. We recently just wrapped up all the pulley testing on our vehicle to the amazing result of 1103 rural horsepower SAE uh, with the 2.27 SPE pulley. Uh, what we're going to do today is to show you how to change between pulleys and how to change the belt. I figured uh, I've done, <laughs> done that so many times over all this testing that I, I can help you guys out a little bit um, and uh, show you a couple of tips and tricks. We'll go over the tools that you need. Uh, you're going to need a 10 millimeter socket. Obviously, you can use a power tool like this or a ratchet. You're going to need a half inch uh, ratchet or breaker bar with an extension like that would be best. 15 millimeter socket, a longer ratchet like this is best, but I've done it with a regular one. Um, you'll need a quarter inch ratchet or whatever you're going to use for your uh, five millimeter Allen for the pulley, but uh, I believe probably the quarter inch is going to fit in there best. Of course, you're going to need your pulley. We're going to switch to the 2.5 and the belt. Um, this is a K080675HD. Um, the 670 is probably better for the 2.5. We went through the trouble of test fitting all different belt combinations and pulley combinations uh, for our customers that you can find that uh, belt chart on our website that's only valid for SPE pulleys and the Whipple tensioner because that's what we recommend we recommend the Whipple tensioner with any pulley change and of course we sell SPE pulleys uh, I would assume other pulleys will be in the ballpark as long as you're using the Whipple tensioner anyway let's go ahead and get started the first thing you're going to do is use the 10 millimeter to remove the uh, coolant tank And you can just gently flop that up out of the way. Now, if you look back in there, you've got right here, you've got the uh, tensioner for the front belt. We're going to have to remove this front belt first to get to the other belt. But before we do that, we're going to go ahead and loosen these bolts. So we're going to take the quarter inch ratchet and the five millimeter Allen. And we're just gonna go in here and just loosen everyone just a little bit. That way, once you take the belt off, you can, you don't have to break loose the Allens and try to hold the pulley, the belt's holding the pulley. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to get the belt off this pulley first because um, in the case where you might want to change the pulley but you don't need to change the belt this is what you would do you don't need to do the front one we'll uh, circle back to the front one in a second so you're going to install the half inch deal right here into the uh, Whipple tensioner can you see that I think so there you go And then that's gonna, you're gonna go in this direction like that. And then actually in this case, this belt's really tight. So instead of pulling it off the supercharger here, you can pull it off right here. This uh, rib idler will be easier to get off in this case. One or the other should work fine. And then we'll take it off the supercharger. All right, so now that's off. Now, in this case, what we would do if we were gonna, we'll go ahead and change the pulley first and then we'll take the front, uh, the uh, the front belt off after that. Oops, wrong thing. So obviously you could do this with the ratchet. It'll take a little longer. Uh, we're gonna use power tools to speed things up. So what you can do is just rotate the pulley around to get to each bolt. These are titanium bolts. They are gonna be available also in orange, green, black, and they're also available in stainless. I believe that's all the colors. And the pulley comes right off. Then we're gonna take the other, now right here, uh, this is the SPE hub. This is the titanium hub. Uh, they also offer this in stainless steel for cost. Uh, the titanium is nice, of course, for weight and for cool factor. Uh, anyway, 
Uh, normally you probably want to put a little bit of blue Loctite on these, but um, we're not going to do that right now because I'm changing pulleys so often that it's not really necessary. Always start your pulleys by hand or your uh, bolts by hand on anything you do really, let alone uh, something like this. You don't want to mess up your bolts. We got titanium bolts being screwed into a titanium hub. Okay, now that they're all in, I'll run them in just lightly with this. Now, that one didn't even tighten, tighten, just like a wheel. Do it in a cross pattern. All right, that's on there pretty good. At the end, we're gonna uh, torque these down to 90 to 100 inch pounds. Uh, we'll do that after we reinstall the belt because uh, that'll hold the, uh, the pulley still so you can torque it down, but there's also a little trick to that on top of uh, just using the belt. Anyway, next up, we're gonna go ahead and actually we'll leave that there. I think we can leave that there. We're gonna use our 15 millimeter, reach way in here like this. And I believe that's gonna interfere with our half inch deal. So let's go ahead and. All right, so now we'll go ahead and get this in there on the uh, front belt tensioner. You're gonna wanna push down to get it loose. And then what you'll do is you're going to just pull Oh, that's the wrong piece. Pull it off the front of the crank and just let it sit there. Okay, so we pulled this off the front of the crank. Now what we're gonna do, hold it, is the other belt's already loose. As you can see, we'll pull that off the bottom of the crank here. and unwrap it from everything else as much as we can. Right, we'll go ahead and take that out of the way for right now. Okay, so now you've got it off except for right here. So you just put the ribs in towards the block and slide that behind the tensioner and then there you go you got it out so now we just reverse that process you're going to take this belt rib towards the block and slide it around the back of the tensioner okay then Use the tensioner as your starting point. I'm gonna work the belt. It gets a little stuck on the tensioner sometimes right here. There you go. So you're gonna work that around that way. And then one side of it's going to, I'll put up the belt routing over the screen. The left side's gonna go around the air conditioning. Okay, now the other side is gonna go down from the tensioner pulley under the crank. Now we can't get a camera in there very easily, but you're just gonna have to trust me on this one. On the other side of the crank in that way, 
it's a little tricky to slide that belt between I can do it fast now but you have to have the belt very flat against the crank to slide it in that way the belts going this way around the crank to slide it in that way you have to have it very flat because the other tensioner is over in that area and it will get hung up now you also have to be sure here in this case see I knocked the water pump pulley off which that belt's not on but we want to just try to keep everything on as best we can so okay both of those are on the blower belt is almost on this goes this way okay so now the only thing we have left to do is to bring this up over the supercharger like i showed you earlier sometimes it's easier to pull it up over the supercharger pulley sometimes it'll be easier to go over the ribs uh we'll find out here in a second i haven't put this belt on this setup yet so i'm gonna make sure that all the pulleys are close to on get it close grab my half inch breaker bar now i'll be going in that direction to tension it down and then down and then okay that's not going to go on so what i'll do is take it off that other ribbed pulley there put this one on first and i believe this will go on there you go so it looks like overall that's just a better way to do it is put the supercharger pulley on and put that one on last we are SPE is working on an auxiliary idler here for the smaller pulleys and that will be a factor in all this but for now uh, this works out great so the next step before you do anything else is touch every pulley and make sure you're good so we're on the supercharger pulley we're on this pulley we're properly on the uh, ribbed pulley back here we're on the tensioner and I reach down underneath and the supercharger is good to go so now this is the trickiest part left and i will put the belt routing of this up on the uh up on the screen but i'm gonna try and get a shot of this for you guys too hold on let me set up a light all right so if you look down in here hopefully you can see this This pulley, let's see, I just knocked the light out of the way. There we go. Well, best I can do, guys. You go up underneath the water pump pulley, it wraps back around that tensioner, then back around the crank and over to the alternator. So let me go ahead and get it set up and we'll try and show you an after shot. All right, so got that ready to rock. Make sure it's on the the alternator. Looks like it is from here. And then it's on the idler, it's on the alternator. It's about to fall off the idler. And then you got it on the top here and then in one motion with the ratchet you can get it the rest of the way on except you don't have something right hold on a second i don't think i had my ratchet set right hold on there we go the problem with using a longer ratchet makes it easier to reach everything but it also 
you can't get as much travel on the tensioner so you may want to try the smaller ratchet but I'll make this work there we go so now after all that nope it fell off the tensioner see that's really tricky right there this is such a small belt that you don't want that to fall off the tensioner because that would be ugly when you start it up okay so let me see if I can get a shot of this for you guys Where's my light? Okay, I think you can see that. There it is around the tensioner. It's very easy for that to slide into uh, our, you know, on the back side. See, it's on the alternator. I think you can see that. If not, trust me. Uh, anyway, we're almost done. The next step would be to uh, torque the Allen heads down to a 190 to 100 inch pounds. I don't have my torque wrench handy. I forgot that in the beginning of the video. So add torque wrench. We're gonna go ahead and put this back in. Um, and then you just have the 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter bolts here. Man, you guys can probably see how much my hands are sweating. It's about, 100 degrees in here. All right. All right, well, that's about it. Also, don't forget, like I said, to torque down uh, your Allen bolts. I don't have my uh, torque wrench handy. It's 90 to 100 inch pounds. Obviously, you know, a lot of people just go tight. That's probably okay, especially if you're using Loctite. Uh, anyway, um, what we're going to do is we'll also do a video uh, just like this for installing the supercharger hub and give you all the details on that. Anyway, hope you like this video. Subscribe to the channel and we'll see you on the next one.